I will call to order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. The time is 6.32. Our first, <clears throat> excuse me, my first order of business today will be to approve the minutes of our last meeting, which was July 22nd, 2024. Uh, actually, I did not have a chance to write up those minutes yet, so they are not ready. I'm sorry. So, okay, we will approve those minutes at the next meeting then. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Um, all right, so our only order of new business today is a one-day liquor license for August 3rd. Yep, we uh, received an application from White Lion Brewery or Brewing in West, uh, no, sorry, in Springfield. Um, they are going to be providing wine and malt for a wedding reception on August 3rd at the Town Park from 4 p.m. to 11.30. Um, they got the, um, insurance certificate, uh, police, um, board of health, building, fire, all signed off. So, um, nobody had any concerns. Great. Well, I just have a quick question about that just for like future knowledge. Mm -hmm. What time does the town park actually stop? Um, you know, on an event. Can they do an event till 3 a.m. if they want? So the, I believe the, the, the sign on the park says dawn to dusk. Um, yeah. And that's the open to the public hours. I think that the um, Volunteer Firefighters Association may have the authority to extend those hours for private parties. Okay. Yeah, that just seems like a little later than we typically hear for an event there. Yeah. But I don't have a concern with it. I just... Yeah. Going forward in the future, you know, just a nice, you know, but... All right. So I motion we approve the one-day liquor license for White Lion Brewing. Was that it? Yep. Right. I second that motion. You have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye, Crystal Drake Tremble. Aye, Nathaniel Waring. Two nothing, Margaret. Thank you. Okay. Um, I will uh I will add, unless the board opposes this, I will add conformed signatures to the license application to be able to issue it to the applicant. That'd be great. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, our other that's all new business today. Um, our other or at least our first order of old business, is an ARPA request uh, from the Sunland Elementary School for Windows Hygienist. Darius, do you want to give us a little background on that, please? Sure. It was, I was here a month ago um, when we needed window abatement for the asbestos found in the glazing. Um, you approved $50,000. We did get a quote to do the windows for um, $40,000, $40,496. However, it didn't include the fact that we need to have an asbestos clearance monitoring service to make sure that they do the asbestos move appropriately. And the cost for that is $2,800. So um, because it's a different expense, um, Jeff felt it was best that we come back, even though we kind of already kind of asking for the same money you've already approved, but it's for a different portion of the product project. Um, it has to be a third party. So that's why it wasn't included in um, you know, the win window abatement um, quote by the company. And, um, you know, we're saving money but not having a GC. So that's another reason why we have this kind of uh, surprise thing that we didn't know that we had to have until we had to have it. Gotcha. So, Crystal, any questions on that from theirs? It's got to be. It's got to be. I mean, we can't just say, no, we're not going <laughs> to... <laughs> Right. Yeah, and just to put it into context, I think that there's about $7,700 worth of uncommitted ARPA funds, um, primarily because the the lower abatement cost. Um, so approving this $2,800 for the hygienist would put us at just under $5,000 left of ARPA. Okay. Thank you for that context. All right. At this point, time i would entertain a motion to approve the, the requested funds all right i motion we approve the requested fund for a hygienist for the window abatement 
at the Sunderland Elementary School. Seconded. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Crystal Drake Tremblay. Aye. Nathaniel Waring. Two nothing, Margaret. Thank you. All right. That was our uh, significant piece of old business. Next up is select board updates. Uh, I don't have anything this week. Crystal, do you have anything for us? I have nothing this week. All righty. Um, and then next up is time administrative updates, which... Uh I have um, I have just a couple of things if you if you have a few uh, a couple of minutes here. Uh, first of all, back on April 18th, um, the Sunderland Highway Department was called for a sinkhole on North Main Street. Um, Jeff corresponded with MassDOT regarding this sinkhole uh, because the town had hired uh, Warner Brothers, I think it was Warner Brothers to come and actually explore to find find why the sinkhole occurred. Um, they did find that Baltazar um, had actually made some um, repairs to a sore pipe under the road that that failed. And so uh, MassDOT got back to Jeff on July 24th, on July 24th, indicating that um, he has acknowledged the DOT has acknowledged receipt of the email and they've shared the information with Baltazar and directed them to review and provide a response to the town. Um, the town's request, of course, is to reimburse the town for the cost um, incurred uh, for all states to uh, to correct that that problem. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. And the next thing is that um, this is just for your information. South County South County Senior Center study um, is ongoing. They're having site visits tomorrow morning, early July. That's July 30th at four different locations for potential South County Senior Centers. I'm unable to go, uh, but I have asked Chris Want, who is a principal at EDM Studios, uh, to please keep us in the loop so we know what they are they are discussing. Um, and the last thing I have is an update on town administrator search. Um, I did speak with uh, Deborah Radway. She is willing to help with um, the search process. Um, she and I discussed uh, duties in the search process. Um, I will I will lead the background process and she will assist with posting, reference check, and preliminary resume reviews. I've prepared an ideal candidate profile and challenge statement for the town that I'm going to be forwarding to the select board for your approval in a few weeks, um, in a couple of weeks on, on uh, August 12th. I will certainly send that to you well ahead of time. And my plan is to ask each select board member for a few minutes of their time to talk about what you want in a candidate so we can actually frame this recruitment to find someone who is suitable for the town. So that is the latest update on that. Great, thank you very much. We're looking at, oh, sorry. We're looking at um, posting this locally first, what we get for candidates before we go. The headhunter type route. Oh yeah, well, the, all of this is all of this would be before we go to a true headhunter, full fledged yeah. recruitment process. Yeah, we're gonna try to. I, I think between Deborah and and myself, I think we would be able to kind of handle, um, yeah. handle the recruitment. Uh, so that's what we're shooting for. Great. All right, Dan. I see you've joined us. Do you have any yeah. uh, questions on the No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Largely, not a problem. All right. Um, thank you very much for all those updates. Uh, I think that is, ends our old business. Uh, I don't see anyone on who I think would need or want to make a public comment. Uh, so at that, in that case, our next meeting will be Monday, August twelfth, at our normal six thirty time. And at this time, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Come on, Daniel. <laughs> uh, motion, motion to adjourn. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye, Dan Murphy. Aye, Nathaniel Waring. All right, it is 641. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, everybody. Jeff, it's been a pleasure. Nice to see Good you luck. Again, Talk to you all Thanks, soon. Jeff.